voice is all Morris. Oh, hello, interwebs. Um, yeah, it's been a little while since I've done a video because it's been blooming hot in the UK, just in case you hadn't noticed. Um, not that we complain about it at all, the spritz, but it's been hot. Anyway, um, yeah, I've got to do a, a little job on the, the filthy S3 today. It's, it's absolutely covered in dust. Pointless trying to do anything with them this weather. Um, I did wash it about a week ago. And uh, let me just take you around it. It's, um, yeah, it's sporting most of the Sahara at the moment. Look at that. Ridiculous. Um, but anyway, I digress. So what I'm basically doing today is um, the gearbox oil. It's one job I haven't done since I had the car. Um, so, yeah, going to jack it up and uh, have a look. Right, got it jacked up. Uh, like I say, I'm going to do the gearbox oil today. I tell you what, the whole world's against me today with noise. Had the ice cream man come at the uh, the start of this video. There you go, bye. Yeah, somebody, somebody going that. And a perfectly good plane up there that people are going to jump out of in a minute. Um, uh, crazy people. Right, um, so, yeah, gearbox oil. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, yeah. Um, so, when I've done the oil changes, you've seen this before. Let me just get you under here. Um, you've got a, an under panel, so that's got to come off. And uh, then it's pretty easy to get to. So uh, let's get rid of that, first of all. And uh, then we'll carry on. Uh, drop the plug out the side of the gearbox. And uh, I think it's a bit low, I'll be honest. Um, I don't know why, I just got this feeling in my head. But um, yeah, I've never done it, never changed it. Um, I don't know when it was last done, so um, eh, why not? Let me just show you what I've got anyway. Um, so this is what's going in. There you go, good old comma stuff. Um, specified for the car. So um, who am I to argue? Uh, MVMTF apparently is the uh, the big code that you need to know um, for the synthetic. Um, what more can I say? Let's just let's just, just get it in the car, shall we? <laughs> so, there you go. Hope you can uh, see there. That is uh, that is the bone where you fill it. And in theory, if you undo that, there should be a little dribble come out. Um, and that is the main bone in the bottom where you physically drop the oil. So I'm going to nip that one out first and uh, just see if my suspicions are correct. They might be a little bit low. Um, hopefully not, but I don't know. Just something in my head. I don't know what it is. Must be something in my head somewhere. And uh, yeah, then uh, drop the oil that's in there. Top it up again. Hmm. Going to need some tools for this. Just so happens, hoping one of these will fit. Something I bought years ago. It's been really handy. Um, even though it might be upside down. Is it upside down? Um, yes. Why would they put the sticker on the bottom? I mean, yeah, okay. So, yeah, these have been handy in the past. I'm going to see if one of these will fit. And what do you know? One does. Let's take it out and I'll see if I can be useful to the internet. Um, Draper, yeah, we know that. Uh, 10 mil. <laughs> Everything's 10 mil and it's not missing. Brilliant. And the moment of truth. 10 mil in, 19 mil spanner. <laughs> of course it is. Let's undo it. Well, there is oil in there, so my theory was wrong. Um, but to be honest, it does look a bit, and it smells a bit. Ugh. So, yeah, I think that's well past its sell by date. Yeah, let's get it changed. And this is where I get absolutely covered in oil. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. It smells like gear oil. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure how new it is. Engine's quite warm, so it is running out okay, but let, let's drain it and then uh, let's get the new stuff in. Okay, so all drained out, plug back in, torqued up to 15 newton meters, of course, de click. Um, right, I'm really breaking out the easy Amatic 205s today. Um, I've got myself a, a suction pump. Mm. Um, should, in theory, make it easier to um, inject said oil into empty gearbox. Right, I don't think I can do this with a camera in my hand, so um, let's give it a try. Yeah, that's making life a lot easier. Look at that. Super. There you go, it's had about three squirts. It's just starting to come out, so I'm going to let it settle a little bit. Stick a tad more in there and then whack that plug in. 
And there you are, job finished. Not that difficult. Um, obviously the one main thing to, to concentrate on is get the car nice and level. Uh, as I said before, my slope on the drive means with a jacket up like this, it's level. Um, so yeah, that was really easy. Um, I am toying with doing the transfer box, I must say. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get you in here. Ooh, let you take you into the bills. Um, so this transfer box, just there, you probably can't see a lot. Uh, there is a drain plug on the side there, and there's a fill tucked away, I believe, at the top as well, uh, that you can't see very well. Hmm, but uh, apparently that doesn't take a lot of oil. So while I'm under here, I might have a struggle and, and do that. I'm not going to film it because it would be an absolute pain in the backside. Um, oh dear, let me, let me... Let me get out from under the car. I, I've got to say though, this, this channel's not sponsored by anybody, obviously, because I'm a tin pot organisation with very few members. But this has been a godsend. Um, I think I spent, it was no more than 20 quid. I think it was only about 15, to be honest, off eBay. But it's been brilliant. Um, yeah, still got some oil in it. But um, yeah, that really helped me out a treat. It took about three and a half of these uh, to fill the gearbox up. Um, really easy to use and um, yeah, not too messy. So impressed. So there you go, silver line. Um, apparently it's um, a plastic, uh, an oil suction gun, 500cc. And it's plastic and it's got, I saw somewhere, it's got a lifetime guarantee on it. There you go, guaranteed forever. Quite what forever means, I have no idea because nothing lasts forever. But there you go, good experience. And when I get good experience, I like to give people a plug. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> so there is the bottom bung hole just there. And I'm going to put you right around the top. I have no idea whether you've ever seen anything. I've took the actual bung out right at the very top there hidden away and you've got, really got a feel about for it there is a uh, there is a fill bung so um nothing came out the fill bung when i uh, took it out so i'm now going to uh take the bottom drain out and see what comes out right then here it goes shouldn't be a lot of oil in this Whoop. There you go, there is definitely oil in there. It looks pretty sweet, to be honest. Um, so it probably didn't need changing, but hey, I'm here. Let's do it. So to fill this up, <laughs> it's not going to be fun. And I know it's going to be messy. So I've got this tube poked into the top fill hole. Right up there, which you probably won't be able to see. And I'll just connect my pump up to it again and uh, pump away. Hmm. Yeah, I think I better put some rags down. Oh, there you go, we are full, lovely jubbly. Yeah, so uh, let's say right up there is where the fill is. I really don't know if you can see it or not. But it doesn't take a lot, it's about a pump and a half this time. Um, yeah, we put a little bit too much in um, for the simple reason that the, the pipe I was using pretty much fills the hole up. So just gonna let that drain a little bit just so it gets to its own level. And put the bung back in and we're all done. So there you go, all done under here. All buttoned up over there. All buttoned up over there. Job's a good one. Right, put the uh, panel back on the bottom again and uh, put it back on the floor. And we'll call that a job well done. And there you go, all back on the ground again. As I say, not a particularly difficult job to do, but um, certainly tricky to get to the transfer box at the, uh, the back of the engine. But... Not impossible, laying on your drive, <laughs> doing a bit of DIY, as I do. Anyway, hope it's been helpful. Um, if you're doing your gearbox oil, it really is um, dead easy. Uh, if you've got a four-wheel drive, transfer box, a little bit more tricky, but hopefully some of this information will help. Anyway, um, I think it's uh, clean up the drive, clean the old girl, because she's looking really sad for herself. Maybe a little drive, and, uh, well, it's got to be beer o'clock, hasn't it? Definitely. Anyway, internet, whatever you're doing, have fun. Cheers all. Bye-bye.